Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials with Creative Vinyl Designs. Today we're going to be working on tattoo, arm sleeve tattoos. It's a whole sheet that I purchased off Amazon. You get 12 for like 10 bucks. I will share the link down below to where you can purchase these. They all come with their own personal sleeves. And you want to make very sure that, you know, be careful when you remove these sleeves that you don't pull off the protective coating. We want to leave that on there until we are sure as to where we're going to place it on the tumbler. Speaking of tumblers, this is a 30 ounce hog. Now, normally when you do the holographics, you're supposed to paint the tumbler to your to as close to the holographic color in which you're going to use. But this was so beautiful, Cinderella by Glitzy Girl Glitter, that I had to experiment this beautiful color on a stainless steel. So I did not paint this cup. So it's so beautiful and I decided to go with this particular design for my stainless steel holographic because I think all of these colors are really just gonna pop. It's gonna be gorgeous when it's done. I wanna demonstrate the dark purple holographic. I also did this as an arm sleeve tattoo. This was actually cut in three pieces, one for one side, one for the other, and then I had this little bit of extra with a gap and I just figured let's put it on there, don't waste it. Okay, so for now, let's just jump right in. So we're going to determine where we want this on our cup. I already previously kind of have an idea as to the size that some of this is going to have to go because I don't want to have to cut off her face. So I'm going to trim ever so lightly. But this is how I would typically do it. Plastic and all, you want everything. And just be as careful as you can trying to figure out how you want the rim to go, but what you want at the bottom. So I just gently kind of bend it, which I'm gonna cut it anyways, but when I do, I'm gonna cut right, you know, to where it kind of makes sense, you know? And in this particular case, this top is gonna get cut off and that's okay, because we have her face and everything is gonna be there. So I think we're gonna just kind of cut like, Even if I can just, I don't know, I might go like right in here. So whatever may overlap, that is okay, but I really just want her face. So if the flowers overlap, I'm not worried about that. So with Little more forgiving so I placed it face down with the plastic still over the top and just kind of really get a feel as to how it's gonna sit now and how I'm gonna go ahead and apply this ever so carefully because it gets a little tricky because it's wide and now you have the curve it's a modern curve but it can still get a little tricky as to how you lay it so you really just want to look at it and get mindful of your placement. And as you can see, either I can cut this off or I can fold this over. And I'm debating if I wanna go ahead and trim that off. I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm okay with this. I'm, I'm okay with the, the images flowing over to the bottom. Not a big deal. I'm okay with it. You can trim it down, you can do whatever, you know, you whatever your preference is, it's entirely up to you. And with that being said, uh, I think we're ready. We're gonna go ahead and peel this off. And keep in mind, wherever you place this, that's where it will stay. You cannot, like a water slide, you can't just, you can't maneuver it all over the cup. Once it's there, you pray to God that you have it where you want it because that's exactly where it's going to stay. And so you try to just touch it along the edges and don't touch the image itself. 
I don't think I'm going to stand up for this one just because I'm a little nervous. You want to just make sure it's right where you want it. I think I'm going to go top to bottom. Uh, okay. So that's where it's going to go. Push down just the center, guys. Just push down the center. Rub it in. what happened this is beautiful so I'm just gonna wet this just a smidge okay and I'm not that concerned as I would be on a water slide wrinkles because like I said this bad boy is a lot more forgiving in a sense even though I can't necessarily move it I can uh, smooth it out very 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 gently and this usually is not a problem once it's under epoxy just look at that and those colors did exactly what i said they would do look how beautiful i really hope the camera shows you what i can see because it is just stunning and, and and quite honestly i could leave this right now as is <clears throat> but it's so phenomenal excuse me that i definitely have to put the other image on the back side so we'll just take a quick little break and i will be back to do the other side okay guys welcome back and here's what we have it's absolutely stunning I did let this dry. Um, like I said, I'm more profound and knowledgeable about water slides. And typically you can't just put a water slide on one side and then flip it over. You want to make sure that it's solid and it's dry before flipping it over and start manhandling the backside. Because if you don't let your water slide dry, all of this will start shifting and moving on you. So I, I wasn't 100% sure. And I just wanted to give myself a few minutes to prep and be ready for the, the other half. So with that being said, this is the, the spot that we have left. And we want this image on this back side. And we want to make it make sense and blend nicely with the other side. So you can do it one of two ways. You can flip it this way so you can see as best you can on how it's going to line up. We may or may not have some gaps because one side is wider than the other. So you, in a tendency, you might want to flip it or not flip it, but like turn it at an angle so everything kind of jives together within picture to picture. And it's okay because it's gonna look beautiful when it's done. So now we have to decide how we want this to be trimmed down. I'm already gonna go ahead and trim down the white portion of this because we already know we're not gonna need this. So I already know that I definitely want these skulls 100% including the beautiful one at the bottom. So I need to figure out exactly how I'm going to place that. And that way when I apply it to the cup, I already know right that minute that I'm gonna need to place this where it's flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this right off. Stand up again, just so I can be sure I'm seeing what it is that I'm doing. These are fun, but they are certainly tricky. So once you think you have it where you want it, just like the first time, 
take it straight down and push. Now, as you've seen the first time, I just saturated the whole thing when I brought it all in. I'm not even worried. It doesn't even phase me. Just, just follow it on down. You're going to get wrinkles. Unless you were to cut this up multiple times, you cannot avoid the wrinkle. You just can't. If, especially if you're only going to do two sheets, two cuts like what I've done, you're going to have the wrinkle. But as you could see from the first one, it wasn't that bad. And just make sure it's nice and soaked and don't forget about your bottom. And I can feel it's already slipping, so it's ready. And gently peel and expose this beautiful tattoo piece. Yeah, I slosh water everywhere, guys. I particularly don't care as long as what I'm trying to get done is done and it looks beautiful. Now you can see just how close, I mean, these blended, like you literally cannot tell. They blended ever so nicely. There is a little bit of wrinkle, but as long as I don't have air pockets, my epoxy is gonna cover that right up. It's already happened twice. Not concerned about that at all. You just don't want the air pockets if you can help it. Now I have this beautiful spot open of holographic. I am not opposed to the way this turned out at all. I can put a name there or I can leave it as is. I really hope you guys can see how beautiful this has turned out. And a name going down this backside would be absolutely stunning. So there you have it. All right, so I will have pictures and or a video at the end so you guys can see how this turned out. More, thank you so much for watching Everything Tumblr Tutorials with Creative Vital Designs. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.